The influence of media such as movies and anime that emphasize cultural and beautiful landscape of Japan makes most people fall in love with it. Hello guys, welcome to Simple Spec Games and today we're going to see top 16 game that's set in Japan. Also, you can play it on low-end spec. But before we jump to the list, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to get notified for info about indie, pixel, and low-end games. First, we start with Shenmue. Shenmue is an action-adventure game developed by Sega. The game is set in the late 1980s and follows the story of Ryo Hazuki, a teenage martial artist seeking revenge for the murder of his father, Iwao Hazuki. The game's setting begins in Yokosuka, a coastal city in Kanagawa Prefecture, Japan. The town is depicted with great detail, capturing the essence of Japanese culture and daily life during that era. The game also features real-time weather changes and day-night cycles. Player also can do various activity like fishing, part-time jobs, and interacting with NPCs for information. Okami is an enchanting action-adventure game developed by Clover Studio. Set in classical Japan, players control Amaterasu, the Japanese sun goddess in the form of a white wolf, on a quest to restore life and color to the world of Japan. The game is renowned for its stunning visual style, inspired by traditional Japanese ink wash painting, sumie, giving it a unique, hand-drawn aesthetic that feels like a living painting. Gameplay revolves around the Celestial Brush, a magical tool that allows players to draw shapes on the screen to interact with the environment, solve puzzles, and combat enemies. Yakuza Zero is an action-adventure game set in Japan's vibrant and gritty underworld of the 1980s, specifically in the fictional districts of Kamurocho in Tokyo and Sotenbori in Osaka. Players follow the story of Kazuma Kiryu and Goro Majima, two protagonists navigating the criminal Yakuza society, filled with intense street battles, intricate sub-stories, and a richly detailed depiction of Japan's urban landscape. Every alleyway and neon sign is brimming with detail, offering players an authentic glimpse into Japan's nightlife and Yakuza culture during that period. Complete with arcades, karaoke bars, and various side activities that enrich the overall experience. Onimusha Warlords is an action-adventure game set in 16th century Japan during the Sengoku period, a time of civil war dominated by the warlord Nobunaga Oda. Players take on the role of Samanosuke Akechi, a samurai who battles hordes of demons terrorizing Inabayama Castle. Players engage in intense swordplay and use a variety of weapons and magic to progress through the game. Players navigate through beautifully crafted historical settings, including ancient castles, villages, and forests, facing not only formidable demon enemies, but also solving intricate puzzles. Fatal Frame Maiden of Blackwater is set on the fictional Hikami Mountain, a chillingly atmospheric locale inspired by Japan's infamous Aokigahara Forest, also known as the Suicide Forest. The game follows three protagonists, Yuri Kozukata, Ren Hojo, and Miyu Hinasaki, who are drawn into the mountain's supernatural phenomena. Throughout the game, players navigate haunted shrines, misty forests, and waterlogged villages, each teeming with restless spirits and eerie echoes of the past. The game's unique mechanic enriches the dark, foreboding atmosphere, using the Camera Obscura, a mystical camera, to capture and defeat spirits haunting the mountain. Persona 4 Golden combines traditional JRPG elements with social simulation. You play as the protagonist who moves to Inaba and attends high school. During the day, you engage in social interactions with friends, participate in school activities, and explore the town, which helps to build relationships and unlock abilities. By night, you enter the TV world to battle shadows and rescue victims. Combat is turn-based, utilizing a variety of personas, which are powerful manifestations of the character's personalities. The gameplay balance between daily life and dungeon crawling keeps it fresh and immersive.
Neo The World Ends With You is an action RPG developed by Square Enix, and it's the sequel to the original game. The game is set in a parallel version of Shibuya. In this version of Shibuya, the deceased are sent to play a week-long game called the Reaper's Game for the chance to return to life. The game features a unique blend of modern and traditional Japanese culture with vibrant visuals inspired by Shibuya's youth culture. The gameplay involves a mix of real-time combat and turn-based strategy, and players can explore the bustling streets of Shibuya, interact with various characters, and uncover the mysteries of the Reaper's game. Tokyo Xanadu EX Plus is an action RPG developed by Nihon Falcom. The story revolves around Ko Tokisaka, a high school student who stumbles upon a nightmare realm known as the Eclipse, which profoundly alters his life. The combat system is action-packed, with fast-paced battles against hordes of nightmarish creatures. Players can upgrade their weapons and abilities, form alliances with other characters, and engage in side quests to deepen their experience. Set in the bustling fictional city of Morimiya, players get to explore its detailed districts, including shops, schools, and residential areas. Paranormasite, The Seven Mysteries of Hanjo is a supernatural mystery adventure game developed by Square Enix. The game is set in the real-life district of Hanjo in Sumida City, Tokyo. Players take on the roles of various protagonists, including detectives, a high school girl, and a grieving mother, as they investigate a series of strange deaths and unravel the mysteries surrounding the Rite of Resurrection, a legendary power thought to bring the dead back to life. The gameplay involves exploration, investigation, and puzzle solving. Players must gather clues, converse with suspicious characters, and make strategic choices to progress through the story. Jet Set Radio is a vibrant and iconic action game developed by Smilebit and published by Sega. It is set in a futuristic version of Tokyo known as Tokyo 2. The game follows a group of rebellious skaters called the GGs who use inline skates to tag graffiti, challenge rival gangs, and evade authorities. The game's cel-shaded graphics and upbeat soundtrack were groundbreaking at the time, drawing inspiration from Japanese popular culture and American hip-hop. The setting of Tokyo To is filled with bustling streets, shopping districts like Shibuya and Shinjuku, and a corrupt conglomerate known as the Rokaku Group that controls the city. Katamari Damacy Reroll is a whimsical third-person puzzle action game where players control a diminutive prince tasked with restoring stars in the sky after his father, the king of all cosmos, accidentally destroys them. Set in a vibrant, exaggerated version of Japan, the game features quirky humor, unique characters, and a distinctive art style that captures the essence of Japanese pop culture. Players roll a magical katamari ball to collect objects of increasing size, from small items like pencils and coins, to larger ones like buildings and even entire landscapes, all while navigating through various iconic Japanese locales. Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne is an acclaimed role-playing game developed by Atlas. The game is set in a post-apocalyptic version of Tokyo, following a cataclysmic event known as the Conception that transforms the world into a nightmarish wasteland inhabited by demons and other supernatural entities. Players take on the role of the Demi-Fiend, a young man who becomes part demon and must navigate this transformed world. The game is renowned for its deep, challenging gameplay featuring complex turn-based combat, a unique demon negotiation and fusion system, and multiple endings based on the player's choices. Way of the Samurai 3 is an action-adventure game set in the picturesque landscapes of Japan during the Sengoku period. Players take on the role of a customizable ronin navigating the fictional land of Amana. With stunning scenery and detailed settings, Amana captures the essence of rural Japan, complete with bamboo forests, serene rivers, and traditional villages. 
Players must choose allegiances among various factions, including the oppressive Fujimori clan, the rebellious Uka clan, and the peace-seeking Takatani villagers. The game features a highly customizable combat system and over 15 different endings. Every action you take can lead to different outcomes, adding to the game's replayability. Olympic Games Tokyo 2020, the official video game, is a vibrant and exciting sports game developed by SEGA. Capturing the spirit of the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games, it offers players the chance to compete in 18 different arcade-style events, including popular sports like the 100-meter sprint, boxing, basketball, and table tennis. The game features a robust avatar creation system, allowing players to design their own unique athletes and share their creations with friends. The beautiful recreation of Tokyo's iconic venues adds to the immersive experience, making you feel like you're really competing in the heart of Japan. Akiba's Trip Undead and Undressed is an action-adventure game developed by Acquire. Set in Tokyo's vibrant Akihabara district, also known as Electric Town, the game features a unique premise where players must fight off vampires called Synthesters by stripping them of their clothes, causing them to melt in the sunlight. The protagonist, Nanashi, along with his companions, the Akiba Freedom Fighters, uncovers the truth behind the Synthister plague and works to save Akihabara from these energy vampires. The game offers a satirical story with divergent paths and multiple endings, a faithful recreation of Akihabara, and customizable brawler-style combat where anything can be used as a weapon. Damascus Gear Operation Tokyo is an action RPG from Arc System Works, set in the year 2097, 50 years after a catastrophic Fourth World War that devastated Japan. This dystopian future depicts a Tokyo overrun by monstrous machines known as raids, against which humanity fights for survival. The game puts players in the role of a member of specialist organization Freya, piloting customizable giant mechs, or gears, to reclaim Tokyo from the clutches of these relentless machines. The missions are diverse, ranging from combat engagements to rescue operations, and players can enhance their gears with various parts and weapons. So that is the video, guys. Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, guys, and see you in the next video.